So, uh, namaste and good afternoon to all of you. I am Pavan uh, from a company called Sparrow. And uh, we principally work in four domains. Uh, we remain fastest growing company in India, and uh, we are about to complete our 10th year this year. And uh, we work in two particular domains. One is into risk management, which is into core, into electrical fire and process consulting, the kind of data that we saw into EIL or uh, IOCL uh, uh, presentations. Second team uh, is all about tech. And we are the risk taker company in India. No one else, no one else. You name it, any foreign company, no one invests into R&D on tech. When I say uh, foreign company, that means consulting companies, and not the core companies like uh, the, the, the oil and gas uh, refineries. So Infinity is the one brand under, under which we, we, we create a product which is known as Industry OS, and uh, there's how we work. We have invested two years into it, and uh, around six, eight months ago, we launched it to the commercial market. It, it is it's quite an emotional journey for us, actually, and uh, uh, we started with zero funds, uh, one person as me to start the company. Now we have 62 people working with for us and with us, uh, and uh, we remain, as I said, fastest growing. We'll be clicking 10 CR revenue this year. It's like something which very lesser companies, or uh, I don't know any Indian companies to reach this feat. This is exceptional, and all thanks to the clients and the team that we have. Uh, we created four critical things, if I summarize our 10 years. The first one is uh, we started 3C. 3C is a concept known as complete cycle of closure. So we find a problem. We can do a complete engineering of your, uh, uh, that problem, re-engineering it. So we are, the, we are the only consulting company to have a core engineering team with us. And then we can fix it. So it's a complete cycle of closure. We call it 3C. We started ASAP. So we interlinked electrical risk to, to the core process risk. And, and very few companies actually understand, and you know, uh, uh, there I, I have, I asked this question to the current MD of uh, EIL around four years ago, then when, when you do see his op, how many electrical engineers or electronic engineers are there? I mean, she said, well, I mean, didn't get a right answer from her at that point of time. So it's important that how we link electrical risk uh, to process risk, that's what ASAP, uh, we are the only one to do this. We started FRAP, which is Fire Risk Assessment Engineering and Planning. So we linked uh, fire risk perspective detail engineering and then financial planning that how you want to invest that capex in three or five or ten years so that you can present it to the management without a financial model, you cannot revamp your fire system. It's very costly. Uh, this is what we are talking about industry OS. So we created India's first digital twin. The, the closest product that you can get around this is Siemens. So imagine the kind of resources, the money, and the kind of innovation that we bought. Uh, and digital twinning of infra, and I'll correlate the cases which have been presented by uh, our distinguished speakers here from EIL and IOCL. Uh, we work uh, with a lot of good clients, and that's the reason of our growth, and with them we learn, so I'm not interested in showing the names, but we believe in one thing, uh, consulting companies are as good as their clients. So there's a the fundamental belief that we learn a lot from you and then parallelly implement it across. Of course, there are certain aspects of business where we, we have competencies and we have resources that are dedicated to do that thing, but this all depends that with whom we work and how fast we learn and how fast we you know, ex accelerate that knowledge to other industries. So now coming to the main topic of ours, which is uh, PSM role of PSI and technologies. We uh, believe uh, PSI is the key to PSM. I mean, it's, it's obvious, right? There's, there is no gimmick into it because if you don't have the right P, uh, PSI, there is no, nothing as, as PSM. But parallelly, uh, uh, at least we had worked in last one year approximately 80 to 90 core process risk uh, management project starting from the QRA or HAZOP or uh, uh, Hazan or any other studies you may name it from hazardous area classification to integration of surge arresting to the process areas. We have found that clients struggle to get the right information at right time. And if in the same organization, if you're going to ask uh, PNID uh, from one team and PNID from other team, it's, it, may, it is feasible and has been feasible that you will get two different PNIDs for the same system. So that means we keep on talking about PSM and the words that we have been hearing since morning are the word I have been, I'm only into this business or this segment of domain knowledge 13 years. Last 13 years, nothing has changed. It's the same as op, same QRA, same, 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 right? So it's like, then what has changed? It's about the detailing of it and accuracy of it. So we principally believe that one version of data is the key to success of your PSI and PSM. How do you do it with, with, with or without technology? That is up to you. But till you achieve one version of data across uh, your uh, platform and on fingertips and whenever you need it. Uh, 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 
uh, I'm sorry, I missed your name, Mr. Mr. Tiwari from IOCL. He was saying that uh, he has, he, IOCL has got all digital uh, MOC methods, you know, and then he parallelly mentioned no paper involved. Uh, how many of you agree to this? No paper involved is digitalization. Uh, please kindly answer this. How many of you believe, say yes or no, paperless work does it mean digitalization? Be loud, please. Thanks. Thanks for this clarity. So we will not use the word digitalization. We will use the word paperless for most of the digital you know, technology that we are using at this kind of time. A complex PSM elements, uh, there is some overlap in the literature there because of the change of laptop, the resolution has changed. Uh, uh, PSM elements which are more, most complex, I mean more complex compared to other elements are MOC, mechanical integrity or PHAs are far more dependent on PSI. Single smallest error in the input, what Sir was asking right now that how the uh, allow values and all. If you change one parameter, imagine the impact and how this will lead to a catastrophic disaster which has been, uh, which, which goes unseen holistically. So this is uh, the foundation that we, when we think about a process safety project or distillation of process safety, this is the core, uh, uh, you know, uh, thing that goes into our head and this is the way we deliver things. A few key process safety information, uh, just to let all of you know, I am not a process guy, but still I know this. So, uh, if you, every one of you would be aware of all these terminologies in PS, uh, PSI, you know, process information, X, Y, Z, consequences, toxicity, corrosive data, integrity of assets, mechanical integrity. For us, or, or for everyone, if you, if you only talk about PSI, so when we talk about PSI, are we worried about what is it? No, we are, we'll only look at this at, with one, one set of, you know, view. It is data. How you're going to use it, that's what your process engineer's job. But for me, it's just plain data, but I am focused on how we bring it to you in the way that you can use it. Am I right? So for me, it's a plain, simple data, but always available to you, not to be used and consumed by human brain, but also to be consumed by computer alg algorithms, right? So this is where Sparrow comes into play. So anything of this, you can list it more hundred number of PSIs. I am only interested in those keywords, some diagram, some numbers, some, uh, uh, some uh, assets layered information, some layout driven information, and some standard codes. For me, it is done. If we are able to rightly bucket it, that means we can put it in the right bucket. Diagrams will go into PNIDs, PF, PFDs, et cetera. Core numbers, spec sheets, ANSI driven spec sheets. I'm not talking about uh, normal spec sheets. Asset layered, which, is, which, which has uh, core, uh, core metadata and mechanical integrities, APIs, relief system design, selection of key component, or, or plain and simple spec sheets that you may need. Layout driven data, if, if you are running a very big refinery or a chemical or a pharma company, and if you are going to do an MOC and you have, you have to correlate two different diagrams, one in hand you have the layout, one in hand you have a PNID, third diagram you have a hazardous air classification drawings. What you do out of that, you keep on mongering on the numbers, millimeters, meters, and that's where the data mongering and data uh, uh, matching remains, uh, creates a hell lot of problem to achieve the right PSM. So I have been given three to four minutes, but sorry, I'll take 10 minutes for a beer with me on that because this is a very critical thing that we're going to have, sorry. Okay, so how human brain operates, that's, that's very, very important. So diagrams, assets, number, layout. Take a case, uh, there is a motor in, uh, in one of the process uh, factory, uh, and then uh, you are going to change that motor for n number of regions. You start with MOC, then in MOC you start with a concept called REC in CCPS, replacement in kind. How do you go ahead with that? You, 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 first of all, you visualize where is that motor, right? Every one of us, an um, Indian plant doesn't work with a SAP model where we say that SAP code one, two, three does, doesn't work. It says motor adjacent to the chiller. This is how we talk and this is how he built. So the first location, then we think about the rating. Then we think about what kind of area it is, whether it's a class one or zone one or what ATEX or uh, NFPA or uh, IEC you follow, you use the code and then say that this has a classification. This is the kind of gas group that I'm going to do. So if you look at everything that you think here is nothing but categorized into four parts. Diagrams, asset, numbers, layout. But if you look at this PNID, that recently we were doing a HESWAP for one of the uh, system. What do you get out of it? Pipe size, some instrumentation, uh, maybe some flow parameters. Beyond that, nothing. Then what do you do? You refer a number of more things. Again, look at this. This PNID solves all your problem. 
No, I mean, very few. Go back to this PNID again. Same problem. So we call it that these are dead for most of the PSI. This is extreme line, I'm using it. These are dead for most of the PSIs. You then refer to n other docs and diagrams, spec sheets, standards, then apply a process to get the output, right? So the, they are mostly static information. It doesn't change much with time. It changes. I'm not denying that it, it, it doesn't change. It changes, but it changes with such a slow rate that you can manage it well. However, when you actually look at how the brain works, there are two parameters that you always miss out. Static, we discussed, you know, all those PSIs. You, you discuss a lot of workflows. You, you see, uh, see, he was saying that uh, there's a change of chemical and then uh, and X and Y and Z, and then if you're changing that motor, you need to know that when this was last maintained, who maintained it, what the time of duration of the, that maintenance. Those data comes from the workflow. Parallelly, you need to know that how that motor was behaving an hour before fa it failed, or maybe a minute before it failed, or maybe a second before it failed. That is a dynamic information data, which is score, sensor-driven information. That means if there was no computer, assume you have no technology with you, this is the way you will think, any which way. That means if a computer algorithm has to work perfectly, the brain works, or the better than the brain works, any computer algorithm must be fed with these kind of information. Then only you can implement any kind of algorithm, AI, machine learning, those are overhyped word, but you can only implement if these informations are right in place. Agreed? Thank you. Now, this is the time to innovate. This is what we did in the last two years. Developing, developing, and everything. We have converted around 4,500 machines uh, with those layers of information into it. We call it Industry OS. And Industry OS is India's most advanced technology that you can buy at a very, very optimum cost. How many Indian companies have you heard stating this line? We are proud to say that Sparrow has the most advanced technology that you can buy with all those layering of information. How we do it? We have trademarked a concept called ILOL, information layered over layout, right? Then we, what we do? We put all layers of static information, which is machine, assets, instrumentation, electrical, anything that you want to play. We put PSI layers, depending upon the use case of PSM that you want to buy in. Then logical layer, because say, say suppose uh, IOCL is doing a lot of MOC digitally. So one thing you, did you notice on IOCL presentation? They said, we work on too much human experience at every stage. They have a form being filled by X, reviewed by Y, and then it's a super experienced guy is doing the final review. Where was the tech? And then we say that that incident happened because of a human error. Of course, because you are dependent on human logic every time. So Apple will fall because of gravity. There is no, no, nothing to be disbelieved, right? So that means if you're using a technology that should be backed by multiple information and then technology should help every senior member to judge, to do it fast, to do it more accurate, and of course, make it error free, right? So to create logic, processes, which is error free, create data points to collect information, or you may go to industry 4.0, that's, that's up to you to decide when you want to go, but any which way you have to go. Uh, integrate standard and recordings. So this is how we, uh, I don't know why it's not coming very clean. So this is how we, ILOL, our ILOL works. We can create any digital to another factory, whatsoever the complexity may be. We, we just take the CAD of your uh, layout or the, or the premises of the factory or, or refinery. We have every NC machines enabled right here uh, this is, laser is not visible, but any which way. So every machine on the right hand side is available with ANSI codes. We just drag and drop. It has all connections in built. So every piping, every machine comes preloaded with the type of connection that you can even think. And each connections are also an ANSI enabled. So it possesses every parameter that you can imagine. Functions, key component, main design parameter, inventories, specification, maintenance, has up. Now imagine what kind of brain that you can put in into real programming and real technology that will enable every PSM element. And a company can just start with an MOC and maybe next year with any other element because it has the foundational information that you will be using, those three elements that will be anyway used by your human brain, irrespective of whether you own a technology or not. This is extremely unique and everything as per global standards. It has, uh, it has area machine people processes. We, we cover everything from data data process engineering, HERA, JSA, you know, those don't stoop to the most basic, to the most complex is covered. Uh, this is the uh, user interface that you get. Uh, you, you can implement any PSM element or per se, forget if you are not into PSM or you don't want to go with PSM, you can, imp you can go ahead with 250 other EHS features with data backing automation. 
lesser human interference, or if you want to have more in human interference, it will make you further accurate and data and logic driven. We, we are the only software, even Siemens doesn't cover it, PNID process part of the PNID and as well as the balance of process because we go with asset and uh, uh, the kind of layout that you have. We are capable of connecting any connection technology or any connection network or infra that you may have uh, from Profibus, Profinet, LoRa, or any per, per se anything. I'll just show you a video of two minutes, two and a half minutes. That's, that's the end of my presentation, right? Kindly have a watch. This is very critical. It comes from our heart, you know. Industry digitalization is no more a choice and it is inevitable. India and most of the other developing countries except China are at the bottom of the pyramid of digitalization journey. It is a journey and we are at a perfect point to start, which shall boost our industrial output in line with IoT and Industry 4.0. We are pleased to introduce Industry OS, the A of digital transformation. It lets you digitize and then digitalize the complete factory and facility, including commercial buildings with all their functions, machines, people, process with inclusion of operation, maintenance, environment, health and safety of people. And the same shall have different interface with relevant information for different teams such as factory, regional and global corporates. And it starts with the most basic thing of our facilities, the layout and data. Industry OS works as your layout as base, as we remember things, perspective, location. Industry OS allows you to just drag and drop any machine tag areas. The machines come preloaded in Industry OS database, including spec sheet design parameters, EHS elements as per national and international standards, and the machine knows its connection details. Once deployed, all three functions, operation, maintenance and EHS, get their own user interface with their utility, task monitor, planner, but the data remains collaborated. Module 1, Operation. Advanced but simplified operation scheduler, planner and tracker. This module is well integrated with EHS and maintenance. Thus, it inculcates and inherits data from all facets, allowing most advanced data analytics to improve productivity and OEE and EE. Module 2, Maintenance. Imbibing the concept of TPM and WCM. Maintenance module enables you to improve productivity, request and track maintenance activities from planning stage to closure, including integration of EHS, inventory, VMS. Module 3, EHS. The EHS module inculcates foundation from world's most accepted standards and indices. Imagine the value it shall generate with real-time integration with operations and maintenance into it. It offers you 20 plus EHS elements. From incident reporting to work permit, training, environment, chemical management, GRI compliance, LOTO, CARPA, MOC and many more. It comes with data-driven foundation and shall include features like video analytics and Google Assistant. Interestingly, your industry OS shall be unique as it is 100% customized to your need and requirement. It comes with three layers of information system, global, regional, corporate, and plant level, MIS. Also different interfaces for all three layers. With a world-class and most interactive and comprehensive dashboard and people management tool, this software becomes a necessity for your organization. It is scalable with AI, machine learning, and IoT, capable of integrating to your smart machines. Let's start the Industry 4.0 journey. Global access to data reduces travel and the ROI is extremely quick. Imagine all your global plants on this platform and you can track, compare and enhance plant utilization, maintenance and EHS performance. It remains 100% customizable and you can always buy any standalone module or as a package. The future is here. Thank you very much for your patience and, and uh, it deserves actually a clap. A much louder clap. This is the first Indian company to do this, and this is a journey which we have done and will not stop. This is a 10-year vision that we have, and it's organically funded. We have not taken any profit in the last 10 years out of the company. Thank you very much.